Hey what's up guys, back again with another video in the Java series. This episode I'm going to teach you how to automatically close file streams. Love don't love me, bitch I know, but the drugs still love me, that's for sure. She fell in love with a junkie, get in the dough, ay, fuck her one time, then show her to the dough, ay, everything she said I... Okay guys, so I'm back and uh, this is going to be a short episode because there's not much we have to learn here, but... This is also pretty cool, so I'm going to show you it. It's um, automatically closing file streams in which you, um, you know, you make a file stream by declaring a new object of, for example, file input stream. And then um, once it's done, it'll automatically close. So you don't have to call the dot close method or the close method. So, uh, yeah. So the way that we do this is um, we use it with the try statement. So I'll show you. Um, first, let's just go ahead and make a file stream, uh, file input stream like we normally would. So let's do that. So file, I mean, well, eh, um, let's see here. Yeah, we'll just declare one. So file input stream, oops, file input stream, fin is equal to new file input stream. Okay, and inside of that, we'll just go ahead and, and uh, create a file. Uh, we'll just have a file here. We'll call it um, um, thing.txt. Okay, it doesn't really matter what you call it. And we'll just put some stuff in here like, um hmm I like trains do you like trains okay so pretty simple and then so we'll do thing.txt as our thing here and of course we have to surround this by a try and catch statement because this will uh, throw an exception so we have to handle the exception just in case it happens so io exception e I'm gonna call it e um, and then we're gonna output e. So basically, we have a new we establish a stream, an input stream between this file here and our program. Okay, so now we can access it, of course. So we could do um, we'll just have a loop where we can read everything and just output it again. So basically, uh, like this. So do while. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, do while. Um, boom. And so we need a variable. So we'll just do int input. And then uh, input is equal to fin dot read. So we'll just read a single byte. And then so this will, uh, and then we'll output input. Once it's read and stored inside input, we'll just output it. So then we'll do that, we'll loop through this, through the whole file as long as input is not equal to negative one, okay? Because negative one is, in, it means the end of file, of course. So yeah, I mean, so that's the end of the program. Pretty simple little program. Let's go ahead and run it. So hopefully it should just print out everything inside of our uh, file here. Okay, and it prints it out as numbers, so we need to cast it if you want to see what the letters are. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Boom, so we get everything. I like trains, do you like trains? Okay, cool. So that's how you do that, but um, we forgot to add something. Um, basically, if we, if we leave this open, basically, um, and we in the well the program stops so it's not a problem but basically if we have a program running and um, it keeps running even though we're not you know accessing this file stream anymore we're done using it it's still gonna it's still gonna have that safe space that 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 piece of memory saved for this file input stream okay so you're wasting memory and you have a memory link uh, you could have a memory leak that could happen so basically what I'm trying to say is that you want to close this uh, stream once you're done using it by using fin.close so we'll just go ahead and add that just to test it out. And yeah, so there you go. And uh, we've already all, we've already done all of this in the past episodes, but basically what I want to show you is that we don't actually need to type this manually anymore. Um, I believe either JDK 6 or 7, they added a feature where you can actually automatically close it within a try statement. So if we add a try statement here and give it a parameter, the parameter will actually be our stream, okay? So if we just cut this and put it in here, and then get rid of the semicolon and let's we'll see we have an error okay so it says try with resources are not supported at language level six so yeah as you can see it was established in JDK 7 so basically um, what this means is that um, in this development environment right now we have it set to Java level six which is basically the the sixth version of Java so we need to go ahead and switch it in our project structure to uh, Java level whatever you want to as long as it's not six everything above six I mean so I'm gonna switch it to 10 because we're actually using a JDK 10 so might as well use the latest version anyway 
So yeah, I'm just going to switch to the latest version and now the error goes away and we can do this now. So if we go ahead and run this, it actually works. So yeah, everything works the same. It closed it because basically the way this works is it makes this try statement and then once it's done running, it, it knows it's done running once it's done, so it'll just automatically close the stream for us, okay? So it's really magical and yeah, so it's very simple. And this is called try with resources, by the way. This is just the method that's the 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 <laughs> The method that we're using to do this is called try with resources. So yeah. <laughs> so um, just before we end this episode, I'm going to show you how to do it with multiple streams. Like last episode, we dealt with the file input stream and the file output stream. So how would we establish this for both streams at the same time? Well, we can do that by um, separating them by a semicolon. So let me show you. If we copy the code from last episode, let me just copy it here. Copy. Okay, paste. So if we copy it from last episode, just ignore the comments, by the way, we can actually do the same thing. So if we add a parameter to our try statement here, and then we just, let's get rid of this. Okay, so if we cut this first one, the file output stream, and put it in here. Now the thing down here will gray out because it's redundant. So we can actually keep it here. There won't be an error, but this is useless because um, it's already going to close by itself anyway, because, you know, it's up here. It's a try with resource. So it's going to close by itself. We don't even need this anymore. But this one we still need because we haven't added this one yet. So we're going to go ahead and add this one. So cut it. I'm going to add a semicolon here because you have to separate them by a semicolon when you're using more than one. And then delete the semicolon on the end because you don't need that anymore. Okay, so we'll get rid of this. Awesome. So now we can do that. So let's go ahead and run this. Uh, we just got an error because... Um, this um, program uses a, a file called lyrics.txt, but we don't have a lyrics.txt inside of this file inside of this file structure um, because we just copied it. So anyway, the point is it works. This is how you add multiple um, streams inside of your your try statement. Okay, so hopefully you like this episode. If you have any questions at all, just leave a comment. I help you. Also, we have a Discord that's in the description. If you want to go ahead and join it, there's a link in the description. Also, all of the code from today's episode is actually. Um, there's a link for it in the description where you can check it out. You can bookmark it, use it as a reference, whatever you want to do for the future. Because sometimes you forget code, sometimes I forget code. It happens. And sometimes you just forget how to do things, you know. So that's okay. So uh, make sure you do that. Check it out. Um, yeah, so if you like the video, leave a like. If you need to see more, subscribe. And peace.